Good evening. Uh, tonight, uh, as our part of our new Perspective Oilers education series, we have a nice quick class on bones, muscles, and joints. Uh, it's an information class on how to support your musculoskeletal system. And I know that at this time of year, people are really starting to feel some of the effects of the cold weather. And so let's have a look and see what we can learn about supporting our bones, muscles, and joints. I want to thank you. I'm really excited for this class. This is the first time I've offered this class. And so um, uh, I'm really uh, going to be excited to hear what you think about uh, the information here. Um, because realistically, our bodies were actually made for movement. And so many of us deal with issues in the department of like joint stiffness and muscle aches and deteriorating cartilage and inflammation and swelling all the things that go into making movement difficult. Nobody wants to spend their days focused on pain like this, right? Um, so let's unpack during this course, uh, this program, um, let's unpack some ways that we can support our musculoskeletal system. Um, we're going to go in this class, we're going to go over some really basic things about the systems involved and some ways to make some positive changes. I'm just going to keep my eye out on um, whether people are wanting to come into the class or not. So just forgive me if I look away a little bit to see where we might be. Um, let me just see here. Hold on a second, sorry. Let's move this down a little so I can see it. And move it here. There we go. Um, okay, so before we dive in, I just wanna say that um, You'll by the end of this class, you'll know how your musculoskeletal system actually works, um, what things you might want to avoid doing, and what things you might want to start implementing. So let's get started. So before we learn how it works, let's talk about what makes the musculoskeletal system. It includes your bones, your joints, your muscles, your connective tissues like cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. So your bones support your body, protect your organs, tissues. They store calcium and fat. I did not know that. They store fat and produce blood cells. Did you know that an adult has 206 bones? I know a lot of you, if you were in healthcare, you would know that. But how many of us outside of healthcare would know that there's 206 bones to worry about? And that's a lot of bones. And joints connect two bones together and allow for movement. Joints are like a hip joint, a knee joint, elbow, wrist, those kinds of things. So then muscles, muscles are made up of thousands and thousands of stretchy fibers. And an adult has more than 600 muscles. Some of those muscles are actually voluntary muscles, like the ones you use to dance or write your name. You use those ones intentionally. You think about using them. You pick up a pen, you move your body, you move around, intentional muscles. Um, and then some of the muscles are unintentional, involuntary ones, like the muscle that is your heart or the muscle that is your stomach. Those you use without even realizing it, and they're just an automatic use. So connective tissues then um, are, there's a few of them. Ligaments are made of tough collagen fibers that connect bones and help stabilize joints. Tendons, on the other hand, are made of fibrous tissue and collagen, okay? And they connect muscles to bones. So tendons connect muscles to bones, ligaments help connect bones to bones and stabilize joints. And then there's cartilage. Cartilage protects bones from rubbing against each other. So you also have cartilage in your nose, in your ears, your pelvis, and your lungs. So what happens when you're ready to move? Like you want to, you want to move. Your brain sends a, me a message to activate your voluntary muscles. And then your muscle fibers contract in response to the message. And when the muscle activates, it pulls on the tendon, which is what connects it to the bone. And then the um, tendon pulls on the bone, making it move. So to relax the muscle, the brain sends another message telling it to relax or deactivate. The muscle releases tension, moving the bone to a resting position. 
that's kind of cool, hey? It's like a a, a contra, like a, a series of processes that go from your brain to your muscles and how your um, muscles and tendons react to each other. So as you can see, the body system really works together to provide structure and fluid movement. Um, and it's certainly worth supporting that. Don't you agree? So let's talk a little bit about um, um, what things are going to affect your system. Because we've just talked about how your system works. So we're going to dive into some practical information. What can cause harm to the system, causing you unwanted aches and pains? What kinds of things should you avoid? Well, let's take a look. So there are a number of things that can cause pain to your body. Aging, injuries, disease, arthritis, cancer, congenital issues. Um, uh, but one place people often overlook is diet. So did you know that a poor diet can be dangerous to your musculoskeletal system? May sound silly, but it's actually true. Certain foods and substances cause inflammation in the body, which equals pain and immobility. Processed meats, high fat, high, uh, sorry, fried food, high amounts of alcohol, soda, candy, and refined grains are all considered foods that increase inflammation in the body. And gluten and dairy can cause issues for some people as well. So you may want to consider all of those things. And you also might want to consider the sources of the fat that you ingest. Highly processed refined vegetable oils that are high in omega-6 fatty acids um, um, are not as good for you uh, as more balanced oils with more omega-3s. Um, and it, because if it's inflammation that you're trying to get rid of, the omega-3 fatty acids are what help protect you against inflammation. Smoking can also be damaging to your musculoskeletal system. Nicotine actually causes your blood vessels to constrict or narrow and causes less blood flow throughout the body and to your major organs. This means less oxygen in your body, less nutrients in your cells, and we definitely don't want that. And lastly, the thing that I'm most familiar with is that stress can be very damaging to your musculoskeletal system. An abundance of stress causes an overactive immune system, also known as an autoimmune issue. And this typically means um, inflammation within your body, which can actually cause weakness and lead to degeneration of the tissues. So that is something you totally want to avoid. Okay, so some help for your musculoskeletal system. One, be very active, because inactivity can lead to stiff, tense muscles, which can worsen things like arthritis and cause unnecessary stress on joints. Inactivity can also lead to muscle mass loss. And it's particularly pronounced if you are sedentary for a long time. People in hospital lose a massive amount of muscle tissue in a very short time. And weak muscles also put you at greater risk for injury and compensation, which means um, you've injured one side and you're overcompensating with the other, so you then damage that other side. So do your best to get regular exercise to strengthen and stretch your muscles. Yoga is very good. Um, walking is very good because this should increase your circulation and help to alleviate pain that you're currently experiencing because what you want is flow. Now, if exercise seems like an impossible feat for you, consider doing some low impact exercises like swimming or chair yoga. Hey Deb, or swimming or cycling, uh, stationary bikes have very low impact, but are very good for you. Um, eat some anti-inflammatory mineral rich foods. Consider vegetables containing sulfates like broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, cabbage, the cruciferous vegetables are all very good for this and onions because they can help build cartilage. So sulfa, sulfate, sulfa containing vegetables help you build cartilage. And you also want to include some fruits and vegetables that contain bioflavonoids like blueberries and blackberries and cherries, cinnamon, acai berries, red cabbage and onions, because these help strengthen the connective tissue of your body. So <laughs> that is very helpful in terms of supporting your bones and your movement. And those 
um, blackberries and bio bioflavonoids also help encourage collagen production. And that's why I'm such a big fan of Ningxia Red is because it contains several of these fruits um, and it's an antioxidant, but it also helps encourage collagen production. And it, a two ounce shot a day is what I take. And it, um, it has a lot of really good impact for me. But bone broth is also very rich with collagen and contains tons of joint healthy ingredients like glucosamine and chondroitin, as well as calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. So get to know how to do a good gelatinous bone broth. Um, cook it for a long time. There's lots of really good YouTube videos on how to create a good bone broth. It is very um, cost effective and it's also very, very good for you. You also might want to uh, consider including things like chia seeds and flax seeds, beans, chickpeas, eggs, and healthy fat uh, vegetables like avocado oil and ghee because they contain a lot of omega-3 fatty acids which help reduce inflammation in your body. Um, I make a lovely chia seed pudding, which is just basically some coconut milk, some chia seeds, uh, maybe some vanilla extract. Um, and I let that sit overnight in the fridge all mixed together and the chia seeds expand to um, make a, like a pudding consistency. It's also extremely good for your intestines and your um, um, eliminatory system because chia seeds are high in uh, they, they hold a lot of uh, water so that your intestines get a lot of water, which helps you push waste through your body. So those kinds of things are extremely helpful. The other thing is that foods high in zinc also help with the production of connective tissue. So that includes uh, zinc is found in foods like lamb, grass fed beef, oysters, pumpkin seeds, right? So foods hot and then foods high in copper can help your natural collagen to mature. And copper then is found in things like avocado. So we've got avocado in a couple places. Cacao, which is the precursor for chocolate. Um, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and cashews. So those foods are very high in copper and can help your collagen actually in your body as you produce it to mature. Then there's some foods that are high in phosphorus that actually help maintain healthy bones and teeth. And those are things like fish and poultry, beef, eggs, milk products, almonds, lentils, peanuts, and pumpkin seeds. And phosphorus is so very good for bones. And it's one of those trace minerals where, you know, you don't really think too much about it, but the lack of it leads to some serious trouble. So another simple way to care for your bones, muscles, and joints is to reduce your stress. And that's because stress can trigger inflammation and actually accelerate the aging process. So the best thing to do is to try to find some ways to incorporate rest and relaxation into your schedule, because that's where we regenerate. And it allows your body to get the proper rest and sleep that it needs. And that's when our cells replace themselves, basically. Um, some things like simple walks, especially in nature, it's found that walking in nature actually increases the value of a simple walk. Um, another thing you can do to limit your stress is to limit your phone use and screen time. Um, take hot baths, especially um, with like the next one, we're going to talk about Epsom salt soaks and why those are good. Um, and reduce your caffeine intake. And caffeine doesn't just come from coffee, it comes from tea, comes from uh, colas, sometimes it's in food. Um, just, so just be very aware of the amount of caffeine that you're intaking um, so that you can help your body to relax because relaxation allows your body to regenerate. One of the things I'm very big on, especially for people who are out working and are back in um, their former in their workplaces and they haven't been for a while is to actually practice some healthy boundaries. Make sure you set a schedule for yourself and, and stick to it. Don't let people intrude on your boundaries, um, especially at work um, because you need to have time away to actually let your body just relax so that you can manage the inflammation. It's such a huge, um, connected web when you are chronically stressed between your um, between your immune system, your musculoskeletal system, your adrenal your adrenal system, all of these things are impacted by stress. 
And so the more that you can work on reducing that load, the better your body is going to feel. Um, practice, do some deep breathing practices every day, especially when you feel like your stress level is, is rising. Um, there's some very good, simple ways that you can incorporate deep breathing into your day and you will feel the immediate effects of uh, deep breathing. And a lot of deep breathing is holding a breath and releasing it through your mouth, in through your nose, hold, out through your mouth, hold. It's one of the simplest things to do to actually just bring your um, sympathetic nervous system down under control. And then my favorite thing is use some essential oils to help you de-stress. Um, my favorites are Stress Away, uh, Peace and Calming, and Valor. And I couldn't, after my heart attacks, couldn't actually leave the house without um, Valor and Stress Away for quite a while because I just was so anxious about being out and about. And they're simple. You just take the bottle and just breathe. That is as simple as it can get. Um, especially if you can feel yourself starting to get anxious or upset, just take a good breath of, an, of a beautiful oil like Valor. So the fourth thing you can do to care for your um, bones, muscles, and joints is Epsom salt soaks. And if you've ever had an Epsom salt soak with sore muscles or joints, you know how beautiful and relieving this can be. Because when you add Epsom salts to your bath, you're mixing in magnesium and sulfates, which are really easily absorbed through your skin. It's not just that it feels good. It actually, you're actually getting pain relieving magnesium and relief through your skin. And many, many, many people use this to reduce inflammation and to help um, ease the in, uh, inflammation pain with aches and pains in your body. So the next time you really need a good rest, um, actually try adding some essential oils to your Epsom salts before you put it in the water. Um, if you take, if you have a regular size bathtub, take about a cup of Epsom salts and add several drops of your favorite oil to the Epsom salts and stir it up. And that helps the uh, essential oil diffuse through the water and not just sit on the top. If you just added it to your bath, it would sit in globs because oil and water don't mix. So if you add it to your magne your salt, um, uh, Epsom salts, it will then diffuse through the bath and actually absorb with the magnesium into your body. Um, I love lavender and um, frankincense. Panningway is really nice. It's a, a muscle relaxing blend. Um, copaiba. Now copaiba is from a tree in Brazil and it actually has a con component called beta carophylline. And beta carophylline is the active ingredient in CBD. So you can get beta carophylline in different places. Copaiba has a higher amount of beta carophylline than CBD. So if you put that in your Epsom salts and put it in your water, it will help actually relieve your pain um, without any kind of CBD impact because it has the same active ingredient. And in any of the eucalyptus work beautifully also for your skin and for your breathing. And the fifth thing that you can do to support your mus bones, muscles, and joints is to actually take really high quality supplements. I mean, you, we talked about food. You can, of course, su um, support your musculoskeletal system through the food that you eat. But sometimes supplements are actually needed because oftentimes our diets are lacking in some area of those uh, constituent, those elements that we need. Um, so supplements can be a great way to make sure that your body's getting all that it needs. So um, cal for calcium, for instance, um, yeah, build strong teeth and bones, but it's also needed for muscle growth. Um, but our bodies don't produce it naturally. So we need to get it through the food we eat, the, the milk we drink or um, a supplement. Um, and if you choose to supplement, uh, then Young Living has a whole line of fabulous supplements that are um, produced in order to be the most bioavailable that they can be. So the you get the most nutrient out of them. There's a soup, there's super cal and mega cal um, from Young Living, and both are highly um, absorbable uh, combinations of calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin K, zinc, depends on which one you buy. Zinc is in one, vitamin K is in the other. Um, so you can uh, look at the, um, 
a list of ingredients and decide for yourself which one is better. They're both fabulous. I take the Mega Cal um, because I like the magnesium and I like the zinc for my immune system. And then there's some really great anti-inflammatory herbs like um, turmeric, which um, is great for your musculoskeletal system. And I don't know if you've ever tried turmeric for pain relief, but it is it has some really, really good um, research around it about how it does. It makes things um, it, it gets rid of the inflammation in your body. And Young Living has a beautiful uh, gold, golden turmeric powder, which is, um, also infused with mango and rose. And you can take it as a beautiful warming nighttime drink. Um, it is, um, supports your body's natural inflammation reaction and your immune response. And so it helps support your joint health and mobility and also helps you recover after physical exercise. So if you're very tired and you have a drink of this, um, then it, uh, helps your re recovery time. It also is um, combined with things that make it more available in your body. This is the theme of all the supplements in Young Living. You have the vitamin or the herb mixture, but then you have essential oils that are added to help transport those things to the places that they need to be inside your body. So there's another quality supplement that we have called Amino Wise. Amino acid is the, the key here. Um, it enhances muscle performance. Um, so if you're must, if you're struggling with muscle weakness, this is probably the thing for you. It helps reduce fatigue and supports muscles during and after exercise um, because it has um, some branched chain amino acids, which are a specific kind of amino acids. Then they combine them with essential oils, antioxidants, and minerals to make it a really targeted formula for muscles. And then there's one of my personal favorites, which is called BLM, Bones, Ligaments, and Muscles. And it is nutritional support for bones, ligaments, and muscles. Um, and it it is the type two collagen that Young Living has. So the inner beauty that has just come out that I am taking is type one marine collagen. It's for skin, hair, nails, and gut. Type two collagen is more bovine and chicken related. It's for bones, ligaments, and muscles, okay? It also contains glucosamine sulfate and manganese. So those three things together, oh, and MSM. We'll talk about MSM in a minute here. Um, but it contains those four things in one um, supplement. So this would be kind of a extremely good one if you are looking for support for your ligaments, muscles, and um, um, bones in combination. This would be a very good one. This is the one I've recommended to my sister who has recently <laughs> broken the bottom of her leg, basically where it joins the ankle by falling off a ladder. And because so many bones and joints and ligaments are in your ankle area, all of these things would be supported by this particular supplement. Um, then there's a couple more Agilis and Omega Gis, and we're going to talk about those in a minute. Do you have any questions? Are we good? We're good. Okay. So then there's a third thing that women have to think about menopause. So the whole peri, mena, and post pauses that we get to experience as women actually pose some pretty unique challenges for our bones, joints, and muscles because the list of side effects from menopause is pretty extensive. Um, and while we know things like hot flashes and mood swings and fatigue, there are actually some impacts to our bones and joints. We get achy, swollen joints are a common side effect of it. And um, it's because estrogen protects bones, joints, and reduces inflammation. And when estrogen levels start to drop, um, inflammation can increase. And then we have the risk of osteoporosis and osteoarthritis going up and after men and postmenopausal osteoporosis and um, osteoarthritis are huge factors for women because of the lack of estrogen protection in our body. All of these things can lead to very, very painful joints. Um, and osteoporosis, which causes bones to be brittle due to hormonal changes. Um, oh, one of my dogs just came in to see me. Get out of here, Zena. Um, 
So osteoarthritis is characterized by swollen and painful joints. Um, and there might not be a direct link um, yet between menopause and joint pain. The two are often at the same time. Osteoarthritis is also known as a degenerative joint disease and is very common in people. Um, and it becomes more common as we age. And the joints that are most commonly affected are the big toe, the knee, the hip joint, and your spine. And this is also called wear and tear arthritis, and as opposed to rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disorder. So people who have sustained injuries are at a much greater risk of the degeneration of the joints that they've injured um, and common activities, wear and tear basically, um, impact your joints, particularly if your body weight is increased, which is often a side effect of, of the menopausal changes that we go under. And so all of the menopause parts just compound the other things that are happening in our body. And um, stretching, so this means that stretching and strengthening exercises are specifically important for women as they age because it helps us to stabilize our joints. And since our tendons, joints, and cartilage don't really have any direct blood flow to them, movement is the only way to get um, circulation in them. Um, so specifically aerobic exercise that gets the heart rate up is super important for diffusing oxygen, both, or sorry, oxygen and nutrients into our joints and our tendons and our ligaments. I actually have know several people right now who are struggling with either Achilles tendon issues or just tendonitis issues in multiple parts of their body. And it just seems it's so, um, strange that all of a sudden, all of my friends, a lot of my friends are having these experiences and yet it isn't because of our age, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of things going on in our bodies that are working against us having a really robust, um, second half of life. So let's try to, let's talk about a couple of supplements that could really help with some of these things. So Agile Ease is a great supplement available in the Canadian Young Living store. It supports, um, it's a joint health supplement. It supports healthy cartilage. It supports flexibility and mobility and the body's response to inflammation. Because it's ha it is the undenatured collagen, the type two collagen. So it'll be bovine and chicken. But it also includes frankincense powder, which is amazing on joints, and an essential oil blend of wintergreen, copaiba, which I talked about before, uh, clove, and northern lights black spruce. All of those things to um, help reduce the inflammation. And it also is a protective, uh, it has a protective factor for your cartilage and your joint health. So it helps to protect the, what you've got and then helps to heal. Now, frankincense contains um, comp uh, components that actually help the body reduce its inflammation. And it has been used historically for thousands of years as medicine. Um, and so that's why it's in this supplement. And uh, actually, it also contains hyaluronic acid, which has a long list of uh, benefits, one of which is to help cells maintain more water but go uh, to pubmed.gov, which is a great site for looking up um, information on different um, things and search for hyaluronic acid. It is amazing. And it's in this uh, product and it's also in the type one inner beauty collagen. So this is basically a very simple way of helping to support your full body because you only take, you take two capsules daily and um then it, as you get it up, the levels up in your body, you start to notice some pretty significant differences. And then I was reading, I was doing some reading in advance of this and I came across a doctor, her name is Dr. Holly Thacker. And her comment was the number one supplement I recommend for joint health and overall musculoskeletal health is vitamin D3, 
which is very interesting because you don't think of vitamin D when you think of bones, but vitamin D is in milk. Vitamin D helps calcium absorption. Um, and so uh, we have a couple of supplements that have vitamin D in them. Omega Gis, um 3 has vitamin D3 specifically in it. It also has omega-3 fatty acids. So the, the, the anti-inflammatory omegas and CoQ10, which is ubiquinone. And CoQ10 is super important. We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, especially if you're on cholesterol lowering medications. Um, and these, all of these components of omega gis work synergistically and they don't just support your bones. They support brain, heart, eye, and joint health. Um, omega gis um, is, has a proprietary um, essential oil blend, which is the theme um, of clove, German chamomile, and spearmint, which helps transport the other components, the D3, the omega-3 fatty acids, and the CoQ10 to where they need to be. And so use daily. Um, this is a fabulous, uh, everyone should be on an omega-3 supplement. And um, it also supports cardiovascular and skeletal health. I'm on it because of cardiovascular <laughs> issues. I take quite a lot of this actually. And um, it is a fish oil supplement. Um, and it um, is rigorously tested for pollutants because it's fish oil. And anything that's fish needs to be tested for um, chemical chemicals that you don't want in there like mercury. And so uh, Young Living has a maximum uh, uh, testing on this and there's no fishy taste. I take it all the time. I never burp up fishy taste at all ever. <laughs> and I've done that when I took other fish oil tablets. You go a couple hours later, you burp and it's like this horrible, oh my God puke worthy reflux of it this does not have that i have never had that so this is this is such a uh complete body supplement that um it is in my list of things that i take every single day and so there's also some supplements that help with kind of the hormonal joint pain, the menopausal joint pain. So we talked about vitamin D um, because vitamin D is actually a pro-steroid hormone rather than an actual vitamin. Um, MSM, and I'm not going to pronounce the whole name because everybody just calls it MSM because the whole name is too hard to pronounce. It actually reduces pain, improve, improves a function a lot and reduces some stiffness. And if you can't take um, uh, turmeric, which I can't because I'm on blood thinners and turmeric is actually increases the uh, eff efficacy of blood thinners, makes you bleed better. Um, I take MSM instead for joints. Um, glucosamine and chondroitin can be taken, but you have to take it for at least two months before you're going to see any effect. And then turmeric. Turmeric has a lot of good reason, uh, good uses, anti-cancerous, um, antioxidants, um, but you just have to be very careful uh, taking it if you're on blood thinners already. Um, and because postmenopausal women might complain of joint pain and stiffness, um, it's because of low estrogen. And so low estrogen actually can also exacerbate tendonitis. And it's not, uh, they don't usually do estrogen replacement therapy if your symptoms are just joint pain. And some women can't do hormone therapy. I never took hormone therapy because my mom died of estrogen receptive uh, breast cancer. So I don't do, I didn't, I never did hormone replacement therapy. I did it all um, this way, all, all with supplements. And then there's some evidence that women who undergo total joint replacements um, do better if they're on supplements to help them get through. Um let me see if there's anything notes that we haven't covered yet. Oh, there's another really good one, ginger. It's not on this list, but ginger actually also, um, it is an anti-inflammatory um, and uh, the ginger oil that Young Living sells, actually you can ingest. Uh, our oils are so safe and so well tested that many, many of them are approved by um Canadian Food and Drug uh, Canadian Food Inspection Agency for uh, 
internal use. And the other one, um, oh no, I've done that one. And there's turmeric, okay. So let's just talk a little bit about a couple of things. Sulfurzyme, golden turmeric, and ginger. Those are the three things that um, Young, out of that list of, that Young Living has in their product line. Sulfurzyme is actually a naturally occurring organic form of self, dietary sulfur. And it is incredibly important to have dietary sulfur in your diet. So if you're not getting it through food, you need to, um, or if you're not getting enough of it through food, you need to supplement it. And dietary sulfur is actually needed in our bodies to maintain the structure of proteins. It protects our cells and our cell membranes. So it keeps our cells intact. Um, and it replenishes the connection between cells and preserves our molecular framework of connective tissue. So it is about keeping our cells whole and healthy and keeping our connective tissues talking to each other and keeping our proteins um, in the right structure. And sulfurzyme uh, is with the, with the um, MSM in it. It also has wolfberry, which is um, from the Ningxia red line. And that helps um, the combination, uh, make this, the wolfberry actually helps make the sulfur more absorbable because wolfberries contain minerals and coenzymes that actually support the metabolism, your metabolism of the sulfur. So this, um, I take quite a bit of this one too, but this supplement actually supports your liver, your circulatory system, your immune system, and your bone joints and ligaments. So it's really quite an amazing one, especially if you can't take golden turmeric or turmeric of any kind because of the um, uh, blood thinning aspect. Golden turmeric, which is just Young Living's turmeric product, um, actually is used for support, uh, re responding to inflammation, immune responses, joint health, mobility and recovery. And the way that it's created the the other ingredients that it has in it makes it 24 times more bioavailable than just your standard turmeric extract or turmeric powder if you're eating it um, in curries and things this one is 24 times more bioavailable so you don't need as much to get a more powerful response and then we've talked about ginger essential oil um to um, help relieve joint and muscle pain um, sprains. And it does do a little help with rheumatoid arthritis because of the inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis. Um, yeah. It also helps with healthy weight management. And ginger is fantastic for digestive distress. If you are, if you've eaten too much food and you're just feeling horrible, a little bit of ginger will help calm your stomach. It's why you have ginger ale when you have the flu. It's because the actual ginger in ginger ale uh, calms, calms your digestive system. It's very, very good for that. And ginger oil is very nice added to um, a carrier oil or something like um, the massage oil that Young Living has and rubbed topically into like sore joints, elbows, uh, knees, those kinds of things. So those are, that is the... Um, that is my presentation on things you can do, five simple things you can do to support your muscles, bones, and joints. And um, I think you'll agree that our body is like a, so amazing and how it all works together and how if you can supplement one or two things, you can make such an impact over such a broad range of body functions. So um, I have mentioned quite a few products here. If you aren't a member of Young Living, that's easy to fix. You can sign up for an account just like you do at Amazon. And um, you put me down as your sponsor enroller. And then I am attached to you as your support system. And you can buy uh, products for whenever you want, however you want them, as often or as, as infrequently as you desire, just like Amazon. There's a couple of ways to get better deals. One of them is to get on the wholesale uh, pricing. And for Canadians, that typically means um, you just buy a product um, and Canadians are typically added to the wholesale. So it's 24% off retail right away. Um, for Americans, they need to um, sign up 
and purchase a certain volume of product in one order. And that opens up wholesale pricing for them. Now, to get an even better deal than 24% off, you can decide some of these uh, um, supplements and you're going to be taking them. You're going to need to re up like to re get them again, probably monthly. And we have a subscription service. So when you apply, when you put these things into your subscription and ask for them to come every month, then what you get is also a percentage back in points to your account that you can use to purchase other things. So for the first four months of a subscription, you get 10% back. So whatever your order is on your monthly subscription, you get 10% of that value back into your account to use on other things. From months four to 24, you get 20% back. Starts to add up really quickly at 20%. And at month 25, you start and onward for the rest of the time you're on subscription, you get 25% back in, in points into your account to use to purchase other things. The only thing is you can't use subscription points to pay for subscription, but you can buy other things outside of your subscription with those points. So if you decide you just want some Ningxia Red to try, you could use the points, get the, get the Ningxia for free and pay for the shipping. So that's typically the absolute best way to get um, your product, especially things like Omega Gize that you know you're going to use up in a month um, and get more points back to try other things. Even if you're trying something like uh, you get some of the um, cleansing supplements, you feel like you're going to do a cleanse in January or February, you can buy those with points um, because they last a very long time. You don't do that every day. So that's the best deal that you can get. And it actually makes things extremely affordable over time. So do we have any questions? Do we? Oh, I'm tired. Puppies. <laughs> Uh huh. Like puppy brain. Yes. Um, do we have to buy a certain amount every month or anything like that? Um, for the subscription, it's about fifty PV, so it's about sixty dollars a month, which is going to be two supplements or or one supplement sometimes, depending on how big the jar is. So that just keeps you that just keeps you current in that. If you miss it one month, you can go back on it at any time. You can also cancel it at any time or change everything in it or one thing in it, it's completely flexible for you. Yeah. I'm gonna have to really think about all that because I've now, I've got arthritis in these two joints here and it's just like the last few months, it's like, yeah. and I'm I'm lacking. Yep, yeah. right? yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not consistent in taking. Yeah. Well, and, and so that is one of the things about su supplements. Um, it takes a while to build your system up again, and that takes some consistency. And so, you know, those little um, trays that have the days of the week or having it right out in the open in the kitchen where like by the coffee maker, I have mine on the counter and um I leave it there so it reminds me every day that I need to take those supplements because I have to say that I don't have joint pain. <laughs> I know I don't have it. And I take Omega Gize and Sulfurzyme um, every single day and I don't have joint pain. I don't even crackle when I get up. Um, so that's a huge change for me. And the Omega Gize gives me other things like my cardiovascular system needs it as well. But what I've noticed is as I'm trying to support one system, other systems are getting support. And I'm thinking, hey, I go for a walk and like my legs don't hurt. My husband's complaining about his legs is, you know, mine don't hurt. And I think it's because I've been consistent with the Sulfurzyme and the Omega Gize over time. That sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like. I should be doing they want to do back surgery on me now well and you know what and if they do back surgery on you you want to make sure your body is so fit and ready for it that um your recovery time is lessened and that the surgery helps because you've strengthened all the muscles and joints it's not just your bones it's every connective piece right and um i think if you can strengthen those things pre-surgery then you have a much better chance of coming out of that surgery successfully. 
and like it, without pain, right? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I know there's a lot of um a lot of work in healthcare around pre um rehab, doing things before your surgery that get you ready for surgery. Prehabilitation, yeah. they call it, instead of rehabilitation. Uh -huh. So um I think getting your your body levels in certain things up to a certain point before surgery is a really smart way of helping your body be as successful as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, and I hope that um, that would really help with the pain that you've experienced. Cause I know you have significant back issues. Yeah. Yeah. It Just affects every part of, of your life. Few years. It's like, boom, there it is. And it's yep. like, well, and it affects every part of your life. You can't do anything without your back. Nothing. <laughs> You can't oh. even pick up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Like you just can't do anything. So yeah, yeah, I think that um there are some things that you can do to really enhance your body's ability to recover. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm definitely gonna be connecting with you on some of these supplements. Okay. Awesome. For sure. All right. Yeah. Well, I will let you go and have your puppies um go and do you want to see them? <gasps> yeah. Okay, just one second. I'll turn off the recording and we'll play with okay. the puppies. Oh. Can you see them? Oh my God, look at them. 